you can smell it in the air, the changing seasons, the pumpkin spice lattes, and the sugar overload at the end of this month. Yep, October is here, and it's time to take a look at what's going to be in the sky this month for your space pod this October 2nd, 2015. The objects in the sky for October are going to be a little bit challenging. You see, there's mostly deep sky stuff, but there is also things that you can see with your naked eye. So long as you're willing to wake up early enough in the morning and have enough coffee in order to be awake that early in the morning. We're starting off with Hyades one of the closest, if not the closest, star clusters to our solar system, a mere 151 light years away. With a solar mass of nearly 400 times that of our sun, it's not very big, but its brightest stars form the head of Taurus the Bull. Hyades is best viewed with binoculars or a telescope with a wide field of view. But in dark skies, naked eye viewing of the brightest stars is still possible, even in light-polluted skies as well. Messier 33, the Triangulum Galaxy, it's the smallest spiral galaxy in our galactic neighborhood of the local group. It's also the furthest object visible with the naked eye, about 3 million light years away. Although if you want to see it naked eye, you've got to go to the darkest skies on the Earth, like the Atacama Desert or Death Valley. Now, Triangulum lies in the constellation it's named after, which is about 10 degrees to the south of the larger Andromeda Galaxy. And if you'd like to see it, you're going to need to get your telescope go about, it's a little bit of a difficult target. Early in the morning this month, a celestial dance between three planets of our own solar system will occur. Mars, Jupiter, and Venus all come within a handful of degrees from each other throughout the entire month. Although if you'd like to see them all individually at their most prominent, you're probably going to want to wait until that last week of October. It will actually won't be too hard to find them. All you need to do is look east after sunrise. The hardest part of seeing them? Probably getting up in the morning and making sure you have enough coffee in order to take a look. And here's your moon phases for October 2015. Thanks for watching this space pod. I'm Jared Head. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to us on social media. And of course, we have a Patreon campaign. Thank you to our current patrons, and we ask that maybe some of you can join us and become patrons so we can get these space pods out to people and tell them how awesome the universe actually is, because it's totes awesome. So, until the next space pod, keep exploring.